good morning, everybody. Welcome aboard. Good to see you all here for our first look at the full release of Entrada. I should say full release into early access, but uh, we did play the demo of this one, and so this version, of course, will be, um, you know, different. It's early access. Uh, it's co-op, multiplayer, everything about Valheim, yes, but then also different. So good to see you all here. Uh, the game just came out this morning, so if you want to get it, it is out for those of you wondering. And it's 26 bucks for those of you wondering. And it's 10% off until probably like the next couple of days. Steam's been doing that a lot, where games will get like a 10% discount for launch, which is cool. Especially if it's early access and you're not sure. If you like it, you keep it. If you don't, you return it. And we're going to check out uh, the game and see what it's like. So welcome back. Good to see you all here. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to uh, Raptoria. Welcome to the game. Welcome to the queue. <laughs> Good to have you all here. All right, obviously coming in with some Valheim music, but there's a lot of similarities here and a lot of differences, so we'll find out what those are all like. Let's see. Master volume. Oh. We'll see how that is. And um, let's see. All right, we'll make any changes we need to. All right, that seems to be fine. And yeah, we'll update later. It should work. I just updated the other day. Let's create a character. Game trying to shame me. Well, these are a bunch of prefabs, but we can always pick our own. Do our her. That's a nice hair. Seems fine, I guess. Q. Oh, let's see how facial hair is. Oof. So hard for games to do facial hair. This, this looks... Nah. Not great. But it's like either games are like really well or just like this. There's, it's, either, it's either like 100% or like 2%. But it doesn't really matter too much. We're going to be looking behind our character anyway. But it looks darker than his hair. Go with that. Character 1. Nah, we're going to go with something like... Raptor should be fine. Cool. All oh, right, we can change our character anytime. Private host or join? Uh, we'll do a private game. I hope this is the type of game where we can turn it on and make it, uh, you know, like public later. But we'll start with private since everybody we know is a little busy. We'll do solo for now, and then uh, maybe we'll play some multiplayer tonight or something like that. If we like this a lot, we can always come back for multiplayer, so that'll be cool. Enshrouded. I know. I know. I've been excited ever since we played the demo, but the demo kind of made more questions than answers. Long ago, a wanderer brought an enthralling gift to the people of Embervale. The elixir. It was a cure, a blessing, a weapon. Ooh. Once concealed by the ancients, its might had been set free. With it, Came power, mistrust, and a longing for more. Humanity dug the elixir wells, ripping apart the land and each other to quench their thirst. Elixir and blood, a drop for a drop. But from the depths of the wells, an unforeseen curse crept into Ember Vale. The Shroud, a ruinous fog which sought only to spread and devour. Ooh. Facing their downfall, ancients and humans united to forge the Flameborn. Now, your time has come. Awake. 
Oh, that's a pretty cool story so far. But he's addicted to the elixir. But of course, that has uh, negative consequences. Makes sense. Oh, we're in like a little a little egg. I was just hatched. Oh, cool. This is different than the uh, this is different than the the demo. So that's cool. I don't remember this. But of course, this is where everybody will spawn in. Okay. Sort of a temple or a hall here. Oh, Booster, you're hosting a multiplayer server? Very cool. Uthris, good to see you. The Cinder Vault. I hope you guys uh, end up playing this one and enjoying it. Commune with the Flame. You've slumbered for too long, uh, Flameborn. The realm of Embervale has fallen, consumed by the Shroud. Now the enduring flame calls for you. Find a place in the ruined world and construct a flame altar to create shelter from the dark. Alright. So it's like our heart from V Rising, basically. Pretty. Oh, this is pretty cool. Claim a spot for your base. A vast world awaits you, filled with secrets and peril. Press I and navigate to the map to track your discoveries. Uh, all discovered recipes for this crafting station are saved here. You can quickly navigate different categories by selecting these icons. Here you can find the requirements and ingredients for each recipe. You can pin recipes uh, to get notifications once you've collected enough ingredients to craft the pinned recipe. Oh, that's helpful. Very nice. We just need five stone for the flame altar. Oh, book. On the flame and its murmurs. I think from Belshazzar. Interesting. Hey Amanda, thank you very much for the 27, rather 37 months. Thank you very much for your membership. I like that we just got to get close to read certain things like that. That's cool. Wow, all right, well this looks much better than when we played the demo for sure. And once we leave, that's pretty much it, huh? I'm sure there'll be a drop-down point of no return. Ooh. A little guiding light. Oh. A torch and some bandages. And some more bandages. Nice. Cool. Cool. Now, we have played this with uh, Uthris before and Lumberjack to test out the building. They built beautiful houses. We also played with Colt, who was able to go real deep into the the Shroud, the uh, Forbidden Zone, basically. And uh, Dirty and I, and R I think Red were also there to build as well. We were spending a lot of time looting and collecting, and it was a good time. Hey, Jessica B. Good to see you in the chat, too. Oh, wow, this looks dangerous. The flame allows you to resist the shroud, but if you linger, you'll perish. Escape the shroud to replenish your maximum time in the shroud. Dude, title drop, enshrouded. Press tab to lock onto your foes. Control to dodge out of harm's way. Oh, thank you. You die now. Let me look for loot. Could be loot. So the shroud, it, it looks like, um, kind of reminds me of grounded with like little mushrooms and stuff growing up out of the ground. Hard to tell what's causing it. Brown spores. Oh, there you go. Mushrooms, indeed. Hi, boys. Oh, they're nice and slow. Double kill. Godlike gameplay.
Well, we'll def after we get a little uh, hang of this today, chat, we might uh, restart and do some multiplayer after we know some things. Maybe. Workbench plus one more. If you fall, you'll rise again at your last return beacon. Construct a hammer at the workbench. Okay, this is where I think the demo kind of started. Also, I think Bradford with, was with us and found a lot of hidden secrets. Everybody's like, <laughs> what everybody likes to do in these games was uh, shining. The builders were building. The Bradford was Bradfording. It was cool. While equipped with a shield or melee weapon, press right mouse button to block. While time block will parry the attack. Okay. Looks like a sword, but we can't have that. I am no King Arthur. Guy yeah, looks dead tired. Oh, lots of lore. Captain's Journal, day one. It looks like we have the whole rested bonus from uh, Valheim. Oh, we can sleep here. That's cool. We might be able to find camps and things out in the field to sleep at if we need to. Oh, man. You could spend days looking around here. Oh, we found a shield. Drink water, okay. Backpack. Oh, I think I just unlocked a shield recipe. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so we can collect almost endless amounts of water out of the, the well. Well, that's all well and good. Okay, I think we'll come back to the town and loot some more. Oh, here we go. Bees. Oh, no. Didn't get attacked by bees? Okay. Oh, there's a wolf. Plant fiber roof block at workbench. So as we're collecting new items, we're collecting new recipes. Cool. Very cool. Oh, and there's the bridge again. And there's the wolf. I think we better get into this. Let's go, bro. I'm over here. Okay. He was no nowhere even close. Fire file fly lamp at workbench. Another wolf. Whoa, there we go. Hey pal. Scared me. Meat. <laughs> Does that sound like a pot breaking? Oof. Okay, so anything in the lowlands is enshrouded, so that's going to be fun. There's that bridge we crossed before. Well, this might be a good spot as any to start building a base. At least a starter base. We got trees. There we go, we got our stones, finally. Some flat land. Just asking for a base. Look, it's even glowing. Oh, I think this is a good spot. Okay, so how do we do this? Crafting, flame altar. It's like literally telling me, bro, right here. Okay, game. I got you. Commune with the flame. You're not alone. There are other survivors dousing in nearby ancient vaults. Find them so they may aid you in your journey. Go gently. One beckons nearby just outside of the shroud's grasp. Oh, yeah. This is where we got to find, like, the blacksmith. 
and then we can kind of start our journey for real. Uh, I think this is a the type of game where we got to build like um, you don't just build a base, but you can build like houses, and if you want to, you can build like custom buildings. So you can have like the blacksmith, and I don't know, maybe there's like a, uh, a like a tavern, an innkeeper or something, maybe a weaponsmith. You know, maybe they're all different. So we're gonna upgrade and extinguish. Uh, extinguish the flame to remove your flame altar. Areas not protected by the flame will be consumed by the shroud. Placed items will be lost. Great. Uh, can we make an axe? Do that. Axe is going to require more twigs. Construction hammer will require stone. Okay, let's go around and look for stuff. There's our twigs. Plant fiber. Stone. The flame. Yeah, so uh, with this having uh, Valheim-like properties, this is certainly something I'd like to play in a group. Like with Booster and Uthras too, to see what everybody builds and how they build. And more importantly, if you if everybody builds their own base but builds them near each other, you'd have like quite the quite the cool settlement. Although a little restrictive with the uh, flame. Oh, look at that! Chat hiding in the blueberry bush. But V Rising's like that too, or Rust or whatever, where there's a central thing you got to protect. Which makes me wonder: PVP? Question mark. Do we have enough twigs? Pin that recipe for the axe. Oh, we do. Okay, cool. Oh, that's nice. Then it does the math for you, too. You can tell how many you can craft. So if there's something that requires a lot, you just got to glance at it. All right. There's our axe. Construction hammer. Campfire. Let's put down the... Uh, Oh, there's, is there two? Oh, alt to switch. Cool. Lop that down for now. Uh, place food in your action bar and select it with the left mouse button to cook. Whoa, okay, take that fire. And I ram right over it. Awesome. Yay me. All right, let's go cut down three million trees. I read that one issue of multiplayer in this game is that there's only one copy of each NPC, so one blacksmith, etc. Really? So maybe it's more PvE then? Everybody's got to work together? I can see that being a cool and a bad thing, though. Like, it would be nice where it's like, you know, you, everybody travels together and every survivor that you find, each person could be in charge of building a building for them. Like, you get your base and the next to your base you can build like a little blacksmith. And then you could use the blacksmith yourself or, you know, have the blacksmith. Blacksmith at the blacksmith. Makes sense. Here you can place items in your action bar to quickly access them in the game. You have two action bars. You can switch between using alt. Yep. Cool. Uh, let's see. I want to make new stuff. So what about a pickaxe? We need string and twigs. I think we got to go kill a spider. More twigs, though. Let's pin that recipe so we remember what we're doing. Oh, workbench, too, might be helpful. Oh, that requires string. Let's do a pickaxe. Oh, more twigs. Okay, cool. More kitties. Hi, kitty. Oh. What do we have here? What the hell is that? Oh. Hi, sir. Well, oh, the torch is better, I think. Or maybe not. Ruins and torn cloth. Nice.
I like the look of what's in the shroud. It looks very much like uh, Last of Us type deal. Ooh. The shroud looms. lockpick. Oh, that thing? Okay. So it's like a plague heart or whatever from uh, from like state of decay. Oh, there's some string. There we go. The metal scraps. More string there too. Alright. Cool. We'll come back for that with a lockpick. I like how we can actually clear it out. That's cool. But I still need to leave, like, the shroud. Okay. That's a glitch. <laughs> I was disabled. I was able to dismantle old books from above the, the vault. Okay. Dude, is this, like, early access or something? I can hear creatures. Hello, sir. Oh, you weren't even close. We also have weapon durability. Falling to ruin. I like when sneaky devs put thing like lore to read in areas that will kill you if you stay there too long. Like, hey, come right into the middle of the Chernobyl reactor and read this uh, five-volume uh, book set. No. No, I don't think I will. Or if I have to, I'll grab it and then read later. Oh, lots of stuff in here. Good night's rest. Ooh, just some random meat. Nice. Oh, we can cook there if we want to. Okay. <gasps> a chest. Let's go. A health potion and bandages. Cool. There we go. Cool. All right. Let's see what we can find. Welcome to the chat room. Bum, 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 bum. That's cool. All right, so if you log out, it teleports you back to your base. Hmm. Okay, we gotta go explore again. These guys kind of remind me of like, um, like Davy Jones. Like these boys look like they got barnacles on them at the same time they got like mushrooms and stuff. There you go, dude actually had a shield. A little tougher to fight somebody like that. Okay, those guys are like no problem.
Spearman now. Okay, so if you keep up the attack, you can pretty much truly stun lock these guys. I think we found a sword too. Oh, you can loot these things as well. Okay, so the things that explode can be looted. Cool. Maybe. Okay, not always, but maybe. All right, let's go looking around for stuff. Okay, this area that's initially enshrouded seems to have a lot of good, like, cool stuff in it. Boxes and things like that. Okay, so how do I make some food? Oh, cool. We can actually, like, sit next to the fire and rest. Very nice. I don't really want to pick up the fire. There we go. I want to cook. Let's throw on some ribs, brother. Oh, nice. Character actually pulls out his stick and does some cooking. It's not really generic. Release to finish. Oh, okay. Tarred wood block. Okay, so cooking actually, like, cooking times matter. Did not know that. Well, we'll have some mushrooms then. So you can burn your food. Oh, I'm like that too. That's cool. You just gotta pay attention then. I like how I got a charred wood block. It can, the wolf can actually now be used as a building material. So upper left corner, I'm getting a bonus from the food that I just ate. So where is that? Oh, um, mushroom plus two intelligence. Okay, so we can eat three different types of food to give us three bonuses. That's cool. Let's eat the uh, honey. Try, try a bandage. All right, cool. That'll give us all sorts of bonuses. So now we got more stamina to run around. All right, nice. We'll grab mushrooms wherever we go. And we'll keep looking for friends. Now we got a sword, though. Uh, now we don't have to use the axe anymore, so that's a big upgrade. Although I haven't picked up a shield. We went down here. There's a few of these basements, and there's a few things to loot in the initial area. So we gotta go get those. Looting? I know. I'm excited too. Oh. Shoot down beehives from trees to retrieve honey and wax. Be careful, the hives usually are protected by their swarm. Well, that's a good tip. Oh, hello. More lore. Wow. Those areas in red? Okay. Oh, look at that. There's like a... Looks like a desert biome over there. A big old castle. Multiple castles off in the distance. Cool. That's cool. I want to get a bow, so we got to go find string. Alright, our best bet is the shrouded areas. So let's go fight. Certainly nice that they've encouraged the fighting so early. Okay, this is the same one again. But let's just make sure we got everything. Okay. Kind of hard to tell from the surface with all the shroud going on where the hell I am. Hmm. 
Okay. Like a mining camp over this way. Let's go up here. So we gotta get string in order to make a workbench. I guess we could probably craft that from maybe plant fiber. Oh, we can. That that we can do too. But also loot. And some probably pretty good loot we can't get anywhere else. Full damage then. I wonder, can these be broken down? No, but we can find stuff in the pots. Oh, and we found a lock pick. All right, we can open that box that we found before. All right, that's good. So, metal scraps. Yep, all right, so breaking the pots, definitely worth it. Kitty. Oh man. More stone, more documents. I don't know if it's worth it to fight everybody. I don't know if we got XP or whatnot. Oops, somebody over there just died. Whoa, 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 whoa. A rat just w almost wiped me out. Whoa. Dude came out of nowhere. All right, there's our first boss. Holy hell. All right, we're going to have to come back. Whoa. Yeah, ran out of town by a damn rat. Not now, Wolfie. Oh boy. Only we had a bow and arrow here. Back to camp. Oh, he gave up. Whew. Okay, good. Okay, let's build an actual base. Eat some more. Let's we'll see how much the bandages heal us. Let's make a workbench. Oh, cool. So we can rotate or free rotate. We can turn on and off snapping, too. Those are options. Craft and repair or pick up. Okay. Oh, storage. Nice. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Bro. Oh, my God. Final boss is here. All right. Oh, my God. Dude has no chill. Oh my god. Wow. Holy hell. Bro, I'm just at my base. Relax, dude. Alright, that's the first boss of Enshrouded. Any questions, guys? That's pretty much how to take them on. If you have any questions, let me know. We need a clip. Oh, I love it. You can actually put boxes on other shelves and things. Cool. There's kind of a way to... Uh, Decorate, I guess. Love it. It'll tell you if it's empty. Nice. Oh, we can make a glider. Okay, cool. Manual crafting. Our bandages are certainly going to be needed. Let's make a lot more string. Another bandage or two. 
So we can make lock picks as well. I'm gonna make another one of those. Shields. A club. I feel like our sword might be better than that, but oh. Oh, magical weapons. We got a wand that we can make. Oh, we can go down the wizard tier already. Bone and resin will give us a staff. That's awesome. Alright, so we can we can go down the wizard tier if we want to. That's cool as hell. So then we can do magic. So what do we do with that? Magic attack. Oh yeah, get wrecked. Alright, that's awesome. That's actually very cool. Okay, I want to try to... I gotta try to make some clothes. So we're probably gonna need a lot more plant fiber. So let's worry about armor and then we'll go do combat again. Because, you know... We can deal with wolves and, like, the undead. But rats? Hell no. Too high tier. Potato. Bro, don't mess with me. I got a wand. Got him. Alright, magic's pretty cool. I've noticed they don't always drop the same items. Oh, there's another camp down here. Some sort of a rabbit? More lore. Ooh, and three health potions. Okay. Darn, the weapon racks only drop wood. Raylan Bridge. We've been here before. Be like a way to glitch across that bridge. Boss Ratatouille, yes. Ooh, another chest. And some arrows, too. Treacherous chasm. You'll need a grappling hook to cross. Oh, okay. If we build a grappling hook, we can swing over there. Roger that. Being able to be a wizard is actually quite cool. And if you're with a group of friends, you know, you can provide, like, uh, maybe healing and stuff. Like, you, you know, two people could take on a... Cr one could, like, you know, aggro, the other could attack, and then meanwhile you're dealing, like, haste or slow, wh whatever spells they have, and then also, t uh, like, healing the party, which is cool. Actually legit.
bees. And so much for deadly bees being around, unless I got lucky three out of three times. Hundred percent win rate. All right, what can we craft? Illumination is that the torch? Firefly lamp. Ooh. Oh, it could be placed in the home. Nice. We already got one firefly. Grappling hook. We'll need more string. Oh, we can make that. We can make that now. Okay. Let's do it. And grappling hook. Oh, I want to make... Oh, did I make a shield? I think I did. Essentials. There's search. Oh, that I don't see a search. We can pick up. Oh, you can pick up the bench. Okay. And that was like leave an item on the on the ground. Oh, we need seven string. Need seven string. Oh, there's the two tiers. Manual crafting and workbench. That's where the different items are coming from. Okay. So there's workbench specific and then and crafting. So, is the grappling hook unlimited? Hmm. I'm liking the game so far, yeah. We'll keep playing. Item equip, see equipment menu. Equipment menu. Oh, maybe under character? Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, so there's our glider, okay. Then we can wear two rings. Backpack extendo. Then we've got our uh, shield, pants. Okay, all right, all right. That's cool. So what about the glider? That's going to require more string and shroud wood. Is that different than regular wood? No. Let's go cut down a tree and then we can get a glider. Nope. Wood logs are different than shroud wood, okay. Okay, so we're going to need something different. So it could be a tree in the shroud. It could be something we find in a box. We'll see. Oh, pickaxe would be helpful too. More string for that. And then how do I equip a shield? I'll just right click and then go to equip. Okay. So is a shield passive? Parry power 10%, maximum durability 80. So maybe I can block with a shield without even having a shield equipped, kind of. And we build the... Yeah, I can't seem to build a air bow and arrow yet. Uh, what about workbench upgrades? Well, could make a bed and go uh, to sleep. Maybe the hammer will have one. Uh, select the shape you want to build with. Select the material you want to build it with. Open the sub menu to select from different shape categories. Oh, that's great. Okay, so you can build with like any material in these shapes. Oh, this is going to be great. 
for people who love custom base building. Outstanding. Oh, and there's a lot of options. Wow. Um Oh, can we do can we do terraforming? Oh, you can even like dig up the dirt. It costs uh, a little bit of soil, but if you want to flatten things out, you can do that. So if we wanted to build a house up here, we can just flatten everything out. Yeah, that's a stun lock for sure. We've got four and two meter roofs. One, two, and four meter like walls and floors and foundations. All right, there's a lot of options for building. This doesn't seem like a lot, but I could see with it being shape-based, you can like clip shapes together and stuff like that. And it'll that's gonna be really cool. I don't even I don't even want to I don't even want to try that. Not until I get like Uthras in here. Learn from the masters. Lumberjack's good at that too. Right now we just want a bed. We we can't even make a bed. All we have is illumination. I can't even be trusted with a bed. Yeah, the building will be exciting for sure. Oh, I guess now we have the uh shield equipped, okay. Well, let's carry a torch and a shield. Wait, there's a firefly. Can I... Oh, you literally just catch the fireflies? Actually, if we find a few more of those, I can make a lantern, and I think we can... Can we carry that on us? Actually, I think it might only be placeable at the house. been in there before. Free wood, though. Oh, looks like all the starting stuff respawns. Alright, cool. So, if you know where to go, uh, anytime you load into somebody's server, I don't know if your character carries over between servers. I think it does, because your character creation seems to be separate from the world creation. But, you know, for a quick start, you could probably, if you know where to go, grab all the stuff you need. Banished to the Shadow Realm. Oh, lo love how the wand actually illuminates a little bit. Very Harry Potter, very potato. Gotta find another spot to go underground here. This is the same one I've been in ten times before. No, this is new. There should be the box to lockpick. Yeah! No lockpick minigame, though. Wooden arrows. Cool. Oh, we can search stuff. Brain. Cool. More to loot. Yeah. I think what we could do is, after we get the hang of the game here, Chad, if, if we're really liking this one, uh, we could start a, or join a multiplayer server and see what it's like to build other people too. Multiplayer is cool because you get everybody doing different things. You know, there'll be like somebody who just wants to stay at base and craft stuff and build and help everybody else out. There's people who, who will, you know, like to run into areas and kill everything and loot. And it's cool to see a mix of all different types of like, yeah, and then of course if somebody goes, uh, you know, if I go wizard, we could still see somebody go with like a different build of like, barbarian or something, depending on what they got for weapons. Seems to be possible though. Can't even believe we uh, haven't unlocked a base. Are we taking damage for cold? No, I don't think so.
Looks like we're getting XP when we kill enemies. Well, good. We'll have to see what to do with the dead XP. Yeah, we have healing potions, yep. Oh, wow. Got boys creeping around the base. Sir, private property. Okay. Oh, loot. There we go. Homeboy near nearly wiped me out. I haven't seen anybody ranged yet. Oh my god. Dodge is quite slow. And I cannot... Uh, what? I can't respawn? Game is not responding. Ugh. Okay, that was weird. Anyway, we're right next to the base, so it doesn't matter too much. Oh, that's nice. So when you die, your death totem is this big o tremendous altar that's lit up. You can see it from miles away. That's helpful. Or may maybe there was a little like lag in a single player server. Like I couldn't hit E and I couldn't dodge. Maybe I was out of stamina, but I don't know. Anyway, eat kebab for healing. I know, that is that is the way. Okay, so now we know that stuff. That's cool. Let's clap now. Now that we got that out of the way. Enemy slain plus 27 XP, and a bar is filling up. What is that related to? Oh, there is skills. Oh, yeah, there's a whole skill tree. Would you look at that? Oh, there you go. There you go. Survivor, Beastmaster, Ranger, Assassin, Trickster, Wizard, Healer, Battle Mage, Tank, Warrior. Okay. That's cool. So what do the colors mean? Constitution, Spirit, Endurance, Strength, Dexterity, and Intelligence. Okay, that might be the different colors, maybe. Because that's... Well, maybe not, because I see six colors, but only... I mean, I see six stats, but only four colors. Blue, red... Gr oh, no, it's only three. Blue, red, and green. Oh, there's yellow in the middle? Oh, there's red, too. Okay. Okay. Okay, so some of these may be tied to other things. Lumberjack. Felling axes do 30% more damage against wooden objects, including trees. That's good for base building. Pickaxe damage. Press E to deal massive damage to an enemy you've overpowered. To overpower an enemy, fill their stun bar by attacking while they block or parrying their attacks. Oh! You need only three instead of six seconds to revive an ally. The base duration for the rested buff is increased by five minutes. Increase the comfort in your home to further increase the duration. Yep, there's your Valheim stuff right there. For sure. Decorating your home will give you more bonuses and stuff, which I like that too, by the way. It, it gives you a real nice incentive to stop what you're doing, gather a ton of materials, go build a base, build a nice base, decorate it, and then you get a combat bonus. So if you like combat... Building a house is kind of part of that. Well, let's try this merciless attack. Oh, there's a power parry as well. 
Increases the enemy's stun bar gain on parry attacks. That would be a better start, I think. So the wizard could probably help stun, but I don't know. It probably is better with a sword. Okay, we can build the firefly lamp now. Fancy. Alright, this game's getting a lot of cool stuff in it for sure. A spear. It's a wand. Alright, let's throw a bunch of these extra swords in here. Oh, we can salvage. Uh, just transfer for now. Oh, okay. Well, I guess that's fine for now. I'll take that, though. Is there a sort button? Yes, T. And G to sort storage. Oh, cool. So there's different buttons to sort storage and to sort your inventory. That's cool. And is there a quick way to move one up to the top? I think you might have to click and drag. I don't see an option for that. Okay, well. We'll build with this. Okay, we got healing potion. Okay, food we'll leave up there. Wands good. Water gives you plus one endurance, plus two stamina recharge for ten minutes. Okay, so that well that we found is quite important. I hope a well is something you could build at your base. I guess we'll leave a little lamp up here. Looks all nice. Love that. Love that we can actually put stuff on, on tables and things. You know, like a crafting bench. You can just put a little light on there or something. Cool for the... Custom decoration options. Very nice. Okay, so let's do this. Um, sword, axe, pickaxe, torch, wand. Maybe water and bandage, too? Uh, find the sleeping survival. To travel, to travel through the shroud. I think before we do that, I want to make some clothes, but I don't actually... Be an option to do that? Oh, we unlocked tar. Animal fur, shroud spores. We found those things before. So where does travel through the shroud take us? Claim a spot for your base. Find the sleeping survivor. And we're going to have to go down there. I mean, we could make a run for it, but I don't really trust myself in combat at the moment. I'm finding a very limited amount of things to build at the moment, too. It'd be nice to get the glider and just float down there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Almost fell through the earth. buff up. I think we should definitely go in there with like full food and water and stuff. Love the music. Alright, let's go let's go make some food. Then we'll eat and drink as we go into the shroud. Space Happy, thank you very much for gifting a tier one sub, dude. Thank you very much. Is there a way to respec? I don't know. That is a good question. We will have to see. All right, we're gonna make some some vittles. Was our fire destroyed, or did it just burn out? Wait, I don't think I need a hammer for that. I think we just craft that by hand. The hammer is, I guess, for structures. Otherwise, there's a campfire. A 
Wood logs look like peanuts or something. Oh, it did go to the action bar. Okay. All right, so now we got to be careful with what we cook. Also, you got to put what you're going to cook in your hot bar. I guess we'll cook everything up. I don't think things go bad. Oh, there's grilled red mushrooms. Okay, we got those already. Can we grill honey? Honeycomb? Grilled honeycomb? I'm assuming it just makes everything better. Okay, so once you hear the sizzle, you're good. Where's the mansion? Ufus, you're, you're asking me to make this multiplayer so you can build? I could do that. We do need more adventures, you and I, Uthris. We have... Oh, we gotta play Dark and Darker again. I had such a excellent experience with you last time that, like, I, I wanna do more. But I love the fact that we can actually go, uh, you know, wizard or barbarian or healer or tank or whatever in this game. Like, that's so much more cooler than just, like, being limited to a few weapons like in Valheim. Which, again, Valheim's not bad for that. But this kind of focuses more on the weapon classes as where that kind of just focuses more on kind of lore accurate weapons, I guess, in some cases. Can we roast chestnuts over an open fire? I hope so. So since food doesn't seem to go bad, we'll just prepare everything before our journey. And we're also getting a rested bonus. So it seems like that parry and the rested bonus are two good things for uh, going into combat. Okay, we can just eat that. Okay, what about the berries? Oh. So if your character can't cook it, he'll just stand up and eat it right away. I think that should be different. I'd like that to be different. I can't, I can't even make a shirt. I didn't see any way at the crafting bench to make other crafting benches or to even make clothing yet. Probably missing it, but the urge to explore is just too much. Captain's journal, more arrows. All right, let the fun begin. What does that say? Stay on the path. The shroud's kin might take you. Salvation lies straight ahead. I'm just going to go straight to the objective. Let's, let's try to do a little parry. Nice. Oh, a ring. Sigil of the Elder Guard. Did it auto equip? Plus 8 stamina, plus 10 health. Wow, what a find. Hourglass capsule replenishes your remaining time in the shroud. It's consumed upon use and cannot be stashed in the inventory. Okay, we'll use that in an emergency. Alright, so they said to stay on the path, so I'll just follow this path. Whew. Oh, into the caves. nails nice oh we unlocked small chest at workbench okay because we got the nails oh that's why we need our blacksmith friend bolt stone flint stone torch 
mine every valuable mineral. Got an achievement for mining valuable minerals at the start. I guess salt and stone are the only things here. Flintstone, nice. Spectacular progress is being made from Captain Hawthorne. How's the loot goblining going? Good. Well, I just, you know, loot goblined something from a dead enemy, so... Now we're taking a look at everything this game has to offer. Whoa, that guy's got a triple shot? Crossbow? What the hell? Hi, right, bro. You want to do range? Let's do ranged. That can be a ranged. Oh. Uh, that's interesting. There is a 30 gigabyte patch. Uh, that's interesting. Okay. Well, we'll wait on that then. Bum, 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 bum. All right, so there, there was just a huge, I guess, day one patch for this. And now it's verifying. But right, let's watch a trailer while we wait. If this is to be the end, then I will tell them of the beginning. Oh, there it is. That's the beginning. Of how your spark was ignited. Of your will to survive. Of the power that flowed from within you into this enchanting realm of beauty and decay. Your flame has grown strong, but in the end, it was not enough. You answered the call, but who answered yours? None but the darkness, the malice, the relentless legions of the mist. Alone, no one stands against the Shroud. But you are not alone, for now we come with iron and steel, and the flame of the ancients in our veins. That was an explosive arrow? Together, we take back what was stolen. We reshape this earth to our Ooh. will. Together, we declare, if this is to be the end, it will not be ours. Badass. Right, that's a pretty cool intro. Uh, mixed reviews so far, but I, I don't know. It's probably 300 people who couldn't run the game. Let's let's see what the uh, what brains are saying. Game feels like it's running at 30. Yeah, graphics, graph, graphics. Yep. Uh, so optimization issues are the thing here. So optimization, graphics bad, multiplayer is broken. Okay, that might actually be something to pursue. I always feel like day one performance issues, especially early access, are just kind of meant to be there, or they're always there, and they usually get fixed relatively early. Not always, but... <laughs> Some of these reviews, let, not recommended, let me in. I don't, I don't know what to make of that review. Yeah, I, I've noticed that positive reviews are usually more helpful where people will be like, yeah, this game's cool, but here's the issues with it. And it's like, that that's usually the case for most games that 
everybody goes to play. All right, let's uh, let's do this again. Yeah, there was a a patch, a big, a big old patch. All right. Crafts people. Oh, you can have two, three, four. Oh, you can have one, two, three, four, five people you can find. Oh, and you can have multiple bases, too. How many players is, is this? I don't know. Honestly, I'm not sure. Well, that sucks. That went before I... Oh, I, I don't know if I'll find that super cool ring again. Badge. Wait, wait, is that cooked? It may have already been cooked. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, cool, we got all the stuff before we left. Oh, we got the Extendo health bar. All right. I don't remember seeing that. Day one reviews are always corny. Yeah, I always feel like day one reviews, I mean, even even for like the day before, it's like, okay, everybody, everybody just wait maybe like 24 hours and see, you know. I mean, we're all pretty sure with that game, but, you know, it's... I mean, I saw Valheim start out mixed too and then immediately went very positive and then like, what is it, what is it now, overwhelmingly positive? Like, but yeah, to be fair, like when a game launches, the people who can't run it are mad. Right, the do not recommend, can't run on potato or whatever. But within 24 hours, everybody gets a good chance and some actual thought, thoughtful reviews come out. That's true. Oh, they're certainly giving us a lot of health items. Is that, is that coal in there? Can I do a downward slash? Oh, that was easier. Just string. Okay. Alright, let's stay on the path. Now, dude, I hope you give me a ring again, sir. That was really sweet of you last time. Scripted ring, I think. <laughs> My Commodore sixty four can't run in shrouded, yeah. Unplayable. The enshrouded areas look cool. I, I like it. Now, what I, I think for me, the biggest test of this game is going to be playing with friends and then finding out, like, okay, how does multiplayer feel with, like, you know, getting everyone's opinion on the base building? Like, for the people who like building bases, what do they think? For the people who like exploring and doing all the combat elements of parrying and blocking and attacking from range and crafting different weapons. I, mean, I feel like Bradford and Colt are more of those characters. I think me and Red are a mix of wanting to build and then wanting to explore kind of equally. Oh, here's that guy again. Sir? Can't lock onto him. Perfect fight. I wonder 
if there's any hidden chests that are like, oh, of course, bear traps. Well, we didn't make it far into the game before we see an indication of possible bears trying to use the bridge. Oh, right, we could have just used the grappling hook. Explosive powder ball. There's a chest. I hope there's different styles of chests. I want to come across like gold ones and like like iron reinforced ones. And it'd be cool to have ones that are like um Whoa, 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 whoa. Hit the ground. Game tried to kill me. Uh but like having to make better like lock picks or something. Oh, we're out of stamina. Alright, well, let's wait for that to regenerate. Oh, good. Stamina's back. Thanks for joining us. Long time to recharge. some food yeah let's do that just in case boss battle yeah oh uh, let's drink some water all right here's this dude Oh, let's parry and stuff. Wait, hold on. Alright, bro, let's, let's do it. Wait, hold on. Hey, go ahead. Oh, you can only block the first one. There we go. Oh, wrong thing. I was trying to drink water. Sorry, I was a little thirsty, sir. Oh my god, bees! Oh my god! Oh, of, of all the times now, bees? Bro, he is literally stabbing bees. Why bees now? Bro, I've looted 30 of your hives. Now you choose to attack? Sir, you need to back off. Not a fair fight. Not the bees! Oh my god! They're in my hair! They're in my hair! An elixir. Oh, you tried to make a 30 mi You tried for 30 minutes to make a three-year anniversary message? Hello, General SJJ. 36 months as a bear cub. Thank you very much. Happy anniversary on the channel. Bushes can conceal you. Oh, there's stealth? Oh, okay. Looks like they were building more of these pods. Getting lore. Another failure. I think they're trying to make people who are resistant to the blight. Jesus.
Cool. Yep, should have known. For a second there, I was like, wait a minute. Is that a red barrel or that's explosive? <laughs> As, in mid-swing, I was like, wait a minute. That couldn't be an explosive barrel, is it? Now we know. <laughs> I do that all the time. The only thing I'm uh, sad about is I can't make a bow yet. Like, I haven't been able to make a bow or any sort of, like, clothing or anything. I, there must be a way to do it, but I can't, like, find out how. Do weapons degrade with use? Yeah, there's durability. What is this elixir for? Oh, a 30 times 30 damage multiplier? Damn. That seems overpowered as hell. Like a plus 30 on damage? Wow. Seems like the shroud also lowers your, maybe your stamina. Now, good question is, do enemies respawn? I think going through the shroud was way easier than going across the bridge. All right, let's meet our first friend. Somebody dropped a bunch of loot here. Teehee. Ancient Vault Blacksmith. Oh, we're going to get him out of one of the pods. too. Oh, there's our first friend. Oswald Anders, the blacksmith. We've unlocked a summoning staff. So now we gotta go build a house for this guy and then he'll like spawn in or something. Uh, when you need to rest, you can fast travel back to your home by opening your map. Navigate to the map and select your home. Oh, really? We can fast travel back? Let's give that a try. Bridge construction report. Home level one. Now we can't just fast travel at any time we want, can we? Quest updated, find the sleeping survivor. You retrieve the survivor, place them in your home with the summoning staff. Can I make that? Well, there's just a regular staff. There it is. Well, just a twig is needed. Okay. 
summons rescued survivors in your bases from a flame altar. Oh, I wonder if we can teleport them around the map, too. Like, if we build a whole new base, then we can do that. Yep. All right, now we're into base building territory, which is cool. Oswald Anders, the blacksmith. Welcome, Oi. bro. Uh, let's get it done. Uh, unsheltered comfort level five. Craft or crafting first gear. <laughs> Took you long enough to find me. Look at you, weak and puny. And they call you Flameborn? First thing you need is a weapon. Lucky you woke me up first. Crafting a scrappy sword or spiked club will serve us well. Oh, so we can go to him to build things. Okay, so we need charcoal and then stone. Can I make charcoal at the fire? What if I try to throw wood on the fire? There's tar. Hmm. Why do I have wood on me and I can't see it? Oh yeah, the wooden logs to me just don't look like wooden logs. They're right there. So can I just throw them in the fire and make charcoal? Nope. Doesn't tell me how to make charcoal. Oh, we can make a charcoal kiln. Okay, never mind. Oh, so now we've unlocked that as well. Okay, so now we can go mine stone and stuff. So now, now it's really time to base build after a little adventuring. So at the start, building a base is kind of like you don't really need to do that because you can't even make anything really worthwhile other than a crafting bench. So where's our pickaxe then? There it is. So what can we mine? We're mining rubble. That's not stone. That's fascinating how it doesn't... It, it like... Oh, is this for terraforming too? Oh, yep. Okay, so you can terraform with a pickaxe. So terraforming is a thing and you can do it with the pickaxe. Which means there's probably a shovel then to fill the space in. Or you can go to that building menu. The building hammer. Although that might be only applicable in your base. They might only let you do that at base. So what if we try to mine this? It does detect stone. Oh, that's cool. Alright. Alright, I lo love how the pickaxe is done. Real cool. So it's a terraforming item. It's a... I guess, I guess a weapon if you wanted it to be. And I like how it works. It's pretty unique. gonna find some more boulders or I guess we could like level a like I wonder if we go to some uneven land and like mine that if that would give us stone or if it's just gonna give us soil or dirt dig a little hobbit home oh yeah I wonder if we can actually dig a hole and do that we have 17 stone a little bit more of everything. Okay, that should be enough to start for a little while. 
Now I want to like really nicely flatten things out. I hope there's a way to really flatten things. Okay, so how do we build the... We gotta talk to him to make these things. So let's make the charcoal kiln. Love it. And we plop that down. Like over here. Uh, place items from your inventory here to make them available for the factory. Here you can track the production process. The factory will uh, produce the selected recipe until no ingredients are left or factory's inventory is full. Switch between the recipes you have unlocked in the factory here. Charcoal kiln can make more than charcoal. Dirt and wood logs. I need dirt too? So it's 17 and 3. Oh, it's going to take a while. Can I make more than one? Yes, so long as we have the stone. Okay, well that's cool. There's still no way to make a bed. We can make a rake. Basic tool used to flatten the ground for upcoming construction works. Okay. So I wonder if the rake can actually give us, um, like, dirt and stuff. Let's take some of those logs. How do I split? I don't actually see a way to, to split. Oh, here we go. No. There we go. Okay, so the split stack only does half. Let's make a rake then. Alright, so it's very much like Valheim's hoe. but does not give us any resources. That's pretty nice though. Like that's pretty that's pretty effective. It does take stamina though. That's pretty pretty effective. I do wish it would remove the grass though and then like grow back or something. Okay, so we get nothing from that though. I wonder if I can break a bed from one of the camps and just bring it over here. I find it weird that I, I don't see a way to make a bed yet. Dude, that dodge is so slow. So magic doesn't seem to have any sort of use for stamina, so you could definitely use it at range, and then when the enemy closes in, block and then, well, parry and, and kill. That thing's going to take a long time.
So we're going to have to make a dirt mine, too. Like, it literally seems like a good idea to just literally mine the dirt. Like this. Because we need that to make charcoal. That's interesting. I like that. Uh, Noraline, thank you very much for the... Uh, yes, thank you very much for your support. Welcome to all the new members, you guys. Thank you very much. Green eyes in chat. Okay, so let's try to make some more... Um, we're going to try to make some charcoal. Hmm. You just bought it, but you have to wait until after work. Oh. Uh, well, so far, so good. I've been enjoying what I've been seeing so far. Oh, thank goodness. It's daytime. Okay, charcoal's almost done. Okay, I like this. The fact that we can mine stones that are like this is really cool. Or it's like it's implied that this is a huge stone and we can almost quarry this out. It's actually quite neat. Much different than the demo. Feels better than the demo. As it should. Don't know what I'm going to do with rubble. Is there not a way to drop items on the ground? Also, I haven't seen any encumbrance yet. It just seems to be uh, based on inventory, perhaps. Craft a spike club or a scrappy sword. Oh, there we go. 15 charcoal. Okay, so we need the forge and we need charcoal on us. Stone and metal scraps now. Ah. And we're good. Ah, there's what the charcoal kiln looks like there. That's cool. Now we can make metal sheets. Okay, so this is all automated so long as there's stuff in there. Okay. Is that the only thing we can make? Yeah, at the moment. Alright, so we'll unlock more recipes. Probably when we make that metal sheet, that'll probably unlock some new stuff for us. Hmm...
Hmm. Yeah, I see the bow now. We've unlocked that. I don't see a bed, though. Is, th is there a bed here anywhere? Flame altar, workbench, construction hammer, summoning staff, bandage string, axe, campfire, torch, a campfire pickaxe torch, lock pick, shields, club bow, wand staff, rags. Which is apparently armor. Which I guess that's that doesn't seem to be much better. Comfort, we have illumination. There's a little bed there, and it, all all that's there is illumination. Yeah, we're, we're under the workbench tab. All the, all the things that I just listed were under manual crafting and then uh, workbench under comfort where it shows a bed. Only thing there is illumination. There must be a material to unlock a bed that I haven't gathered yet. There's probably a prerequisite for it that needs to unlock. Well, let's get some more wood. So we're going to need wood to make a lot of charcoal and, of course, to make a base. So what material do we have to find in order to unlock a bed chat? killed animals before so it's not like a pelt I don't think torn cloth Yeah, we can try to build stuff with the construction hammer. Uh, before we do that, then, let's cut down a bunch more trees. And then maybe we'll flatten some land out. That could be. Maybe we gotta, we gotta craft it. You know what's weird, though, is that we're following mostly what the game is telling us for journeys. So we're basically doing everything it says, and we haven't even been told to build... We haven't even been told to build a base. Like, they told us to put down the flame altar and then go and find that guy. So there hasn't really been much base building yet. But now we got it. You need torn cloth to unlock the crude mattress. Really? Because we've gotten torn cloth before. To make bandages. Yeah, I've made bandages before and we've gotten torn cloth. Dismantle. Does dismantle a rock? Isn't that what the pickaxe is for? <laughs> Alright.
Okay, what, what do we need to make next? The spike club or scrappy sword? We can't make that here. Whoa, Jesus Christ. Whoa, bro. Whoa, whoa. Holy hell. What the whoa. Out of nowhere. Bro. This guy. Ridiculous. Alright, we're building the base. That's it. 700 foot high walls. I'm going to cut down a ton of trees. Apparently we got a bunch of rough stone blocks. <laughs> From me hitting the button. Ah, that's it. We're we're making we're making a huge base. That's it. Blacksmith guy was on break. Cut down every tree. All right. building the base had enough of that I think we'll, what we'll do is we'll try to build like a stone floor and then build like a second story wood building you'll see what I mean now this is where multiplayer is gonna be fun because then you can have you know if a group builds a base together although I think each player is supposed to build their own flame but regardless people could just you know go gather materials for an hour come back and share with everybody build a really cool everybody could build a really cool house which could be part of the base but the problem with that, though, is that because everybody's got their own little border, it's going to be hard to, like, build a wall around the whole thing. So if you build in, like, a... kind of a area where there's a lot of enemies or where they can spawn... Because obviously, like, the map is, uh... That's, that's pretty... That's pretty... That's a pretty... Pretty... Pretty big map. That's a pretty big map. And we started at the bottom. So, you know, you're probably going to, at some point, want to build multiple bases. Okay, so I can put the charcoal in there. Is there not a way to just quick grab? Oh, shit. Left click. Okay. Ah. Uh. Maurice, thank you very much for the two. Thank you for the support. All items repaired. Oh, just visiting the workbench will repair items? Okay, let's build a little bit of a base. Or I could flatten the rest of this land out. Uh, maybe we better do that. Well, we're going to have a hill here regardless. Ooh. kind of cool. E easily build like a trench. Oh, chat that we can build like a moat. 
All right, so it's completely possible to like build a, a like a moat around your base. Although you get such a small area, I don't know if you'd want to do that. But then again, you could terraform an area that's not your base. And then you gotta wait five minutes for the stamina recharge, which I guess we'll drink some water. Yeah, the terraforming's nice, yep. It would be really cool is if we could find, like, um, boulders under the surface that we then had to break up with the pickaxe, which would be cool. Yeah, it's going to be cool to terraform the land for big construction projects. But I guess what you could do is when you build a giant town, you could build the town, then each of these could be a plot for a house, and then interconnect that. But I don't know if you're going to find enough land for like four players to do that. But yeah, all this tall grass does make it kind of hard to see if everything's even. I guess it's not supposed to be perfect. Oh, you can't terraform outside your base? Oh, unplayable. I guess that does prevent some cheese around boss areas or whatever, but still. Just make a boss arena that can't be modified. Wow. Big sad. Okay. Wait, I can build a scaffolding? Okay, that okay, alright. A little a little redemption, just a little bit. That's kinda cool. That you can actually build scaffolding to build more stuff inside your base. That's cool. And a cage to keep your friends in. No, I mean scaffold B. Didn't we unlock a second storage option? Oh, we, we found nails. That's what it was. Doors, windows, fireplaces. Okay, now, somehow now I've unlocked the bed. I don't know what I did to unlock that. I have no idea how that finally unlocked. Anyway, uh, we need string and then torn cloth. But before we even do that, let's build a house. To make sure it saves, I'm going to back out and jump back in. Is there a PvP? I'm not sure. It seems to be more aimed towards PvE. Is there a limit to how high we can build or deep we can dig? That's a good question. That's a good question. Well, we'll keep that in mind as we test with our friends soon. This stream right here is kind of making a little bit of a first look where we're kind of just building to see what we could do. In the future, our streams are going to get even better and more exciting because if we, when we play with friends, there's going to be boss battles, bigger base builds. This is only the beginning of something that could be quite great when we understand it a little bit more. Oh, so I, I feel like the terraforming, I can't tell if it's flat or not, or if it's just the, like, if it's just the grass being, like, yeah, I can't tell. I can't believe there's not a way to dig that all up. No PvP, they might add it later? Okay. Well, um, let's start with uh, stone. I put that in storage.
And then what are the options for that? I had other s building options. There we go. Nice. Oh, oh man, that's going to take so many materials. Oh wow. It's a hundred, no, it's 256 stone just to make this. A four meter, what's this, foundation? Well, that's rough wood. Okay. All right, but that's cool, though, that it looks like we can build anything out of anything. Oh, boy. Yeah, of course. Change target. Come over to me. Yep. It looks like we can make any block out of any material. If you want to make a stone roof, you can do that. All right. Well, uh, if we're going to build a base, we're going to need a lot of material. So... Here begins the grind stream. Good question, too, is like if we gather a bunch of materials, build a base, and then want to move our base, do we get a 100% refund on when we take things down? I would hope so. We got res resin. I could build a better staff now, I think. A wizard staff. We craft that in the field. Oh, yeah. We just need bones. Wait, the wand has 11 damage? The staff has 7? Fires ice damage. Oh, staffs can cast spells by using mana. Where the hell's a, I, I don't even see mana in this game. Yeah, I mentioned that before. Like, yep, that's where co-op's going to be. It's where ever, everyone should mine and gather as a group and just share the materials. Because honestly, the amount of wood that you're going to need to build anything... You just may as well work in a group. Just everybody gets a hand in. Helmet's not a chair. I'm cutting down like 800 trees. So where would we go next? I, I assume we're probably going further north and probably far east and west. To get to each of the people who give us different things. I wonder who else is out there. Maybe there's like a a Fletcher who can help make um, bows and arrows. Maybe there'll be like a healer. Kind of handy at the base. Come on, sir. Oh, you're stuck in that tree? Whoa, what the hell is that mega range attack where I'm out of your range? No, 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 dude. No. That is broken. That range? No way. The range that dude hits you from is Tomahawk Missile. That range is broken. No way. Well, there's some torn cloth. Apparently the spear is a ranged weapon. Apparently he causes damage from the wind that apparently he cuts through. 
Yeah, that's true. Valheim's not even out yet either. Valheim's still early access. What was that, 2020? Like third year of early access or something? down every tree on this mountain. But now I have some really cool ideas for houses and I, I think this is a good game to actually take a look at some medieval structure designs and you could actually recreate that in this game. I think there's a lot of potential for that. You guys know I like Lego. And one of the things that I've wanted for a long time is that there's a medieval blacksmith Lego set. And it's it's just awesome. So I have that in mind, but also I want to do like a, you know, stone first floor, wooden second floor overhang, maybe the blacksmith underneath, that kind of thing. Honestly, though, if we're supposed to get, what, what five survivors? You're going to need to build multiple bases because to like decently, I mean, you could just have a base like this and this is fine but I mean in a game where you're going to be gathering tons of material on one hand this ain't enough space on the other hand you get multiple bases that's cool Maybe we can also uh, make a better axe soon. Okay, we need more torn cloth to make a bed. So we need two more. Nice how we can plop in windows too. Those actually look nice. And doors. Even though this shows what looks to be a double door, this is a singular. Okay. Oh, there's three recipes now. Wood, acid, and tar. Let's make that, because doing that will unlock new recipes for us. How much wood do we have? 202. No, don't put the whole thing in there. It'll take 99 back. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so can we make blocks now? It takes two to make a hundred? Well, we've learned that doesn't really account for much.
We'll see how much that gets us. Okay, let's build. But before we do... Alright, so there's a little path here. See, this is what I want to be able to do, too. Hopefully we can make cobblestone roads. Like very Valheim. We'll build our house here, then. No, I haven't had any crashes. Issues have been on my end for the PC. But not the game itself. like the best way to get oh wow it's like the best way to get iron is uh, fighting and killing dudes I gotta go into the menu and make that into blocks again. Hmm. Oh, I have to go to the bench to do that. Wow. Okay, it's going to take a lot to build a house in this game. Well, maybe not. But no matter what we do, we're going to need more wood, because even if we want to make weapons, we're going to have to... Uh, We're going to need a lot of wood in order to make charcoal to then smelt all that iron. And then if we get into making a... I think this game has it so it's broken down by... Yeah, so you're going to need to make a helm, you know, chest plate, everything else. Shield. Oh boy.
Oh, that's a ceiling piece. Okay. Alright, we'll just gather a bunch of materials. Are we gaining XP for this too? We might be. Alright, I'm going to gather a little bit more wood and then see if we can go find some uh, wood scraps. I mean metal scraps. Appreciate the fact that I pull out my sword. And he immediately has the shield equipped too. Nice. Extendo. find metal scraps. I don't even think I have any on me. I wonder if I mine all that rubble if there's something under that. You excited for us to play Farthest Frontier again in the future? Good. Soon. Oh, there's more cloth. Oh no, it's a book. I need more torn cloth. Maybe I'll just start breaking anything that stores stuff. What's that game? I've never heard of that. Wink. It looks like we're just mostly getting wood. Let's gather a bunch of water. Maybe more? You can't wait to get home and play this? Well, that's good. It's always good to hear that you, you guys are excited to play, too. Oh, there we go. Metal scraps. Okay, so we can find those in pots. It's a shame that we just can only do scraps right now. What about... Nope. Okay. Well, I think I can pull those arrows out. Um, let's drop the stones. Oh, hear 
more enemies. Punched him to death. There we go. Okay, more metal scraps, cool. More torn cloth, yeah, we can make a bed. All right, there's bandages there, cool. Um. Okay, so clay pots seem to have metal scraps. Coop, thank you very much for the four months as a raptor egg. Thank you for the support. Now let's head home. So we can make a backpack to carry more stuff, but I don't see encumbrance being a thing. Oh, hi. Didn't even see you there, pal. Wait, hold on a second. Let's go back to base. Get out of me. Cucumber free story. For sure. None of that talk. And there's all these cool castles. I hope we actually get to go up in there. It seems like we were under that castle when we started, so I think no. Okay, um... Let me make sure. Hopefully we can make different armor sets, too, for, like, rangers and wizards. There's got to be that, you know. Like, it would be weird to have a wizard looking like a barbarian. Okay, so let's dump off. Let's make a bed first. Thing we've been trying to do for a while. Yay! Throw that down over here for now. That's good. Now wait, if we sleep, what happens? Do we... Nothing. I thought you would at least regenerate health or something. Maybe at night it skips night and that's about it. Okay. We're making more charcoal. Cool. Oh, wolf's on the way. I could... Yep. Do it. <laughs> All right, where was I? Before I was rudely interrupted. Well, this guy can make nails for us. Okay. So we go to the... We go to the... That's weird. We go to the forge for certain things, and then we go to the guy for other things. Like... Kind of, kind of weird, honestly. Wow, we can make a fur armor set now. Horn cloth, animal fur, and string. Oh, that stuff's just so random to find. Or a rising fighter helmet. Okay, there we go. Metal sheets, animal fur. The blacksmith needs to have a house. Okay, so how do we give him, like, a house? Like a leg. Like, he needs to be sheltered before we could do that stuff, so... Hmm. Hey, what's up, Helping Hans? Good to see you, man. 
First impressions, saw it got mixed. I looked at a few of those. They seem to be performance-based issues, so... I don't know if people... The game recommends that you update your drivers. But I don't know if people weren't doing that, or... You know, potato PCs. It's a, it takes a little more power than Valheim to run this one. So I'm not sure what people are expecting yet. Build a hut around him. Well, I'm going to build my house and then tr uh, teleport him to the first floor. So that'll be our goal, chat. We're going to build a nice house. Something to be proud of. Rock and stone. Yeah, that's needed for our first house for sure. 94 stone. Okay, well, there's something we could do with that. Well, hopefully that's enough to make a house. Only 1,400? Boy, I hope we have enough. Okay, um, building mode. I do like we can actually level out the ground afterwards. It is hard to get it perfect. That's a good workaround. Okay, nice. Now, um, maybe some walls? So we can do free build or we can rotate 90. And let's shift forward and backwards. Ooh, you can nudge it a little. Oh, that's helpful. It gives you a little extra control over it. Love it. is here, yeah. Celebrity chat. <laughs> We've got a celebrity in the chat. And it's not Amy Jo Johnson. Okay, so I goofed. What do I do if I goof? That's it. Nice. Love it. I'm going to see if I can... Uh, cool. You can overlap and get different shapes. So if I do this. Ooh. It kind of makes irregular windows. That's interesting. Okay, that's cool. That's actually quite cool. Because then you can make... Um, stone windows that don't necessarily have a frame. That's cool. Another another option there. Whoa, shit. Oh, okay. bro. Hey, pal. I'm in the middle of building here. It's private property. Trolls on the server. Yeah, there's private servers for this. Um, there were three options at the menu. Oh, I think it was uh, host solo, join, or 
post multiplayer. Although I don't know, you know, let me check, actually. It's a good question. If I wanted to make this world multiplayer, can I just change that suddenly? Start a public game, save locally. Join an online game, start a private game, save locally. Oh, okay. So at any time, you can go into, uh... Okay, up to 16 players. Alright. So at any time, you can take your single-player world and go into multiplayer, which is cool. So if you get the game and you play solo and then a friend's like, Oh, dude, we should play it. And like a week later, you can... Or whatever, you can you can get them to join. That's cool. I like that. So at any time, you can just re go r right back to the menu and flip it over to 16... 16 player multiplayer. That's a lot of people, dude. This initial area is very small, too. I feel like this is only enough room for, like, one player. I mean, all right, to be fair, you could also flatten out a lot of this land and whatever. But when we played, it was, like, four to six people when we played the demo. I can't recall how many. But it was it was good. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so now... Uh, let's switch over to wood. Okay, so how much of that stone did I use to make this? I got 4,000 left. Okay, so maybe the materials are not as bad as I was thinking. Let's make a... Okay, let's make a wood ceiling, which will be the floor for above. And I think we can unlock additional, uh... Because I remember when we played, Lumberjack Samurai built a really nice tavern. And then we put the blacksmith behind the tavern. And it was like he was our barkeep. And it was really cool. And we can do something like this, maybe? Oof, I do not like the look of those stairs, but... It's supposed to be that way, I think. Because this is rough wood blocks, so... That makes sense. Oh, I do like the uh, framing that they put around the edge, though. Nice. Oh, the echoing. Listen to that. Oh. Usually games don't even bother changing the sound. That's cool. Um... I want to be able to have some sort of an overhang here for the second floor. But I'm not sure how I want to do that. Well, we'll just goof around and see what sticks. This looks nice. It does look nice, Indrid, yeah. The world looks gorgeous. It's pretty good. I'll need some more work building a uh, actually properly themed house but honestly if you're not into the building so much at least you get a bonus for you know it's like Valheim rules where if you build a house and you decorate it your warrior becomes more rested and I wonder too if you play multiplayer if somebody's way better at building than you and they take all the time to decorate and stuff and you're not really feeling it I'm pretty sure you can just drop by their house and, um, like, get a, you can get a bonus for, like, going to their house and resting there. Are we out of wood? Oh, we are. Okay. All right, so maybe I'll knock this wall out and make it a, a stone wall. I think the best, the, the best bit so far is building. The combat's not bad either. I really do like the, the, um... The classes. Barbarian, Ranger, Wizard, that kind of thing. Yeah, this is decent. This is decent. Oh, we can even make pillars, so that's good. That's a big dub. That's a, that's a big win to me. So then we can have that second floor overhang that I wanted. So actually what I could do is put the, uh, put the floor out a little bit. And then maybe I could put my flame heart inside. Hmm.
I would like another option for for terraforming. For the pickaxe and for the rake, it would be nice to be able to... I don't know if there's an option to do this yet, but uh, um, maybe using your, your scroll wheel to make the area larger or smaller, like the, the circle like that. Yeah. What's up, PC Games? Welcome back, dude. I like how this kind of opens. Look at the... There's like some weird mist down here. Is that the, is that the shroud? Are we containing the, the shroud? Okay, what I would like to do, too, is maybe build an area out back for the kiln. Or maybe over here. We've got 3,000 remaining. I don't know if this is going to end up looking like a tap. This is going to look... Okay, so this is going to be a... It's going to be more focused on blacksmithing, but it's going to end up looking like a... Uh, a tavern. Oh, look at that. Oh, wait a minute. Unintentional greatness. Look at that. If you if you put the wall out just a little bit over the edge, it actually puts supports in. Game of the year. Game of the year. What else is coming out? Cancel it. Whatever. That's game of the year territory right there for me. <laughs> I love that. That's awesome. That you can have a little overhang. Because that's what I was going for. And that's going to make it looks so much nicer than those damn walls that are always so flush, like the wall on the right. Not crying. <sighs> Get it together. Just breathe. Oh, I need it in a moment. That's awesome. I love that. Dude. That's so... Uh, so uh, that's just such a small thing. That's such a small thing. And it makes it look so much better, dude. It means you could do bay windows. Yeah, Pal World canceled. Forget it. Uninstalled. Which, by the way, we'll be playing Pal World later today. Make sure you subscribe, turn on the notification bell. Join our stream for that. Canceled. Hate that game. Worst game ever, Pal World. This is the game of the year. Dude, can Pal World allow you to slightly offset a block by one pixel? No. Didn't think so. Pal world. Friendless world. My best friend here is the construction mode. But for real, Pal world is good with base building except for the roofs. The roofs are unplayable. All right. Sag World, that's right. Didn't I name that? <laughs> Didn't I name our second world? Oh, I think it was Sag Island, but regardless. Okay, that's really cool. I don't know. That that it's so it's such a me thing to like that, you know. But those are the things that I care about. Although okay, the fact that you have to make these one at a time by hitting space is so annoying. Like, why can't you just do a craft all or, like, use a slider? Instead, you got to do this. Okay. So now that I know this, I totally want to do an offset. That was great that I goofed that up goof of the year and the nominees are me and myself and the award goes to oh my god it's me wow dude I'd like to thank myself so that's what this is for then that um, that function that lets you slide it forward just a little bit oh wait Oh, that's for up. The hell? Oh, that overhang, though, bro. How does the wood... Pi oh, the wood pillar is going to look bad. Ugh. Yeah, I'm not liking the log cabin deal there. But, you know, we'll unlock additional materials somehow. Uh, 
Yeah, maybe that's a little too far. We can make beams too. All right, look, yeah, look, there, there's quite a few options here. I was expecting it to be a little bit more square and bland. But, you know, most buildings are, are square. Yeah, the stone pillars are all right. Those do those do okay. Then what I need to do is So what do I want now? A 2 by 2. Can I do a 2 meter ceiling? Okay, I can. So then that just lets me do a little extendo. Yep. I'm just trying to do something to avoid the traditional, like, rectangular building. That's smooth. Yeah, that that's great. I mean, it. There's an there's an attempt here. Also, I should make a more narrow stairwell. We don't need this two meter, four meter. We can do a two meter. But then we can build it up the side. Yeah, perfect. Oh, that's nice. Something like that, yeah. Alright, yeah, okay. I'm I'm liking the I'm liking the base build. Oh, and then can we put down a little Oh yeah, okay. But there's no railing, it looks like. So furniture options would be good. I don't see like a traditional railing here or anything. But now, the biggest problem is gonna be roofing. How's that gonna look? Our roof's going to be uh, big yikes. I wonder if I can fit the uh, in that corner. It's not cooperating. Let's do a two meter piece here. I can't make it go right over the edge. Damn it. Could be a workaround by putting a pillar here on the edge? Nope. does seem to be ways to work around this. Turn off stamping. Oh, that's true. We can press X. Okay, that's the way around that. Good idea, chat. That'll do it. Alright, good work. Oh, you guys are hired. Ooh, but the problem is it's not a tall enough wall, is it? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. All right. Good job, chat. Proud of you. Now, the problem, though, the big problem is going to be when we build a roof for a building that has an irregular floor plan, can this game maintain...
Is this game gonna hold on to its game of the year status? nervous about the roofing now every game every game kind of goes eh. oh look at that dude that is wow oh man that's what I was looking for let's go now the only thing that sucks about this is when we when we get new materials are we gonna have to go back in and like delete all the walls and I could only see that being a real true pain in the butt if you've got stuff all over your walls and you got to take all that stuff down and put it into a box. But I don't know. Maybe that's what makes base building special. Like Special K. Hmm. Love it. Life is futile is hardcore buying it now. Oh yeah, and there's also Forest Village. They had a city builder too, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I played uh, Life is Futile Forest Village, but not Life is Futile Your Own. I that is one I would like to play. Even if it's old, it's like I don't know. I'd like to go back with new friends and play old games, see what the experience is like. Especially if I never got to play it before. Okay, so... Not done yet. We gotta do one of the most difficult things ever. Can this game maintain with roof building? We're about to see. These are four meter roofs. Missing materials. Wait, what? Invalid loca tag. Wait, what? Like, doesn't seem to recognize that I have this in my inventory. Oh, no. Is it looking for thatch or something? I hope you'll check out the Universum. We did, yesterday. Full stream on the channel. Twitch chat was there as well. We used uh, Twitch chat integration. It was cool. Oh, I need to build specific roof blocks for that? Oh. Okay. Oh, you're right. We could we could test out the scaffolding too. Metal block, rough flintstone, rough stone, wood, and tarred wood. Oh, there it is. Roof blocks. Oh. We actually have to make tarred shingles. So we have to use the kiln for that. To make tar. Oh, we could try plant fiber. I don't know. Would that look good? Okay, let's, let's see this. how many we need to make this we got a thousand okay so then okay I'm look I'm seeing some pretty good options here do we want it to clip through though I 
That looks okay. Let's check it from the outside. Unacceptable. Alright, maybe something like this. We gotta fix these corners a little bit. Let's do that first. I feel like the scaffolding blocks should be something that you can build and destroy. Or rather, pick up and move, you know? Okay. Let's get rid of that roof. Alright, we're going up to the top. There's two and four meter roofs. Oh, oh. Hey. Alright, that looks good. Tricky. Rosif, thank you very much for the Raptor Hatchling membership. Welcome back. Ooh. I like how the overlapping uh, doesn't make a duplicate seam. That's nice. Okay, so it might be better to put the flat pieces down first. Do I want an overhang on the roof? Hmm. So if these clip through or overhang a little bit, that's okay because it makes a nice. I mean, it ma that that makes a really nice like continuation. So if you overlap, boom. It looks good. But let's check it from the outside. Not bad. I don't love it, but it's okay. And we're going to need a lot more plant fiber. needed. Well, that doesn't like... It looks good, but then it doesn't fit the way I want it to. go 
I think we're going to have to build a scaffolding to get up the top. Oh, that's nice. I think we need to, like a... Every game company needs to have like a department of roofs within it, you know? Like you got your QA, your level design, your character design. You know, people to work on cutscenes. There needs to be just like a team of 45 people just working on roofs. Even if it's not a... Even if it's a game that has no roofs in it. But I'd argue every game has roofs. Even like a racing game. There's going to be houses in the background. Buildings. Dude's facial hair and roofs in games are like impossible. We need to invest billions more. Ooh, an auto roof feature? Cat's talking. It's beautiful things right now. Okay, that corner's good. That corner's good. As I suspected, it would be the front of the house. But maybe another tell would be lining up those ribs in the roof. Like that. Mm-hmm. Line up the ribs. That's what we got to do. Dude, the game seems to fix what I thought would cl weirdly clip through the wall. It actually addresses that. Now, how do we fix that? What do we do about that? All right, how do we build scaffolding? I think we have to go to the actual bench. Yep. Ooh. Nice scaffolding. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Now that could be cheese. Uh, maybe you could only deploy the scaffolding in your base, but I could see, like, imagine like fighting a boss and just plopping down the scaffolding and just like shooting from range or something. That could definitely be a thing. Wait, and, oh, roof end piece. So then, how do we fill the roof? There's got to be something to fill little gaps somewhere. We got like a little flat piece. You know, I bet this game might be smart enough to do this. If we try to clip through... Let's say we do this. I need the extendo piece. The uh... hmm. 
I could actually see it working. I gotta get on top of the roof though to check that. It's gonna be a lot of little work though for detailing like that. I need more string to build a second scaffold. I do like how we can easily pick that up though. And then it lets you do crazy stuff. <laughs> you could just build it where it's hanging over the stairs. That's oh boy, Osha's gonna be furious. Oof. Um mm. Uh, overhang that's gonna be weird okay well th since things can clip through it's not that big of a deal So then I might be able to just do a piece like this, and then another piece like this? Oh no. This is going to separate the men from the boys, the game of the year, to just meh. Just meh. Yeah, if they're not the same height, that might be okay, because the, the clippage, clippage might be okay. But so long as it's not overhanging. Damn, I thought we had a real game of the year here, guys. I'm sorry. Well, let's pack it up. Head over to Pal World. Also, I really like that it's been day for a long time. It's too many games, it's just it's like a strobe light of a day-night cycle. I need Bob Vila, dude. I need Bob Vila, this old hovel. Me no goose on the roof system. Damn it. Damn it. You can make interesting layouts and builds, but then you're restricted by the roofs. Every game, dude. Every game. Okay, that's better, but no, now it's still too low.
I think Valheim, when they started designing their game, started with the roofs. Oh, dude, let's build a roof game. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, we're making some progress here. I think it's just going to take a little while to... the hell? there is a height limit it looks like if you try to build anything outside of the the roof there it's good you're gonna be out of the sphere of protection so if you build a building too tall it's gonna be outside of your flame or whatever and then it's just gonna decay that sucks now eh, let's nap I wonder if I can do this, or I'll die. It'll be funny. Freaking landed it. Oh, okay, so sleeping speeds up night by 60. But doesn't heal you? Sleeping should definitely heal you. Yeah, I mean, you know, roofs are always just a horrible thing in games, so the fact that this is, like, kind of... It's par for the course of these types of games. I mean, even Valheim is tough sometimes, but... It usually works. That's too low. There we go. Okay, that's that's much better. Oh god, oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. Ah, there's a gap now between the damn roof and the f No. Can we do like a 2 meter frame let's see how that looks salvageable I think
gives us a little bit more room to work with the walls. Uh, the ceilings, because then they can just cling to the wall. Man, it looked simple, didn't it? It seemed like we were given a simple task of build a nice house. Well, all right. So the walls and floors and the layouts are uh, perfect. Like da damn near perfect. With what this game is and how to do it, that's easy. But the, the roofs... It's like now, now you have to build a house based on uh, knowing the restrictions for a roof. Now you got to start... <laughs> your house from the roof down. And it looks like there'll be some pretty cool roof options. Like, you know, you start with thatch, which is kind of like, okay. But then you go on to, like, maybe clay and... Well, and then you can make tarred uh, roof shingles, which I think if you build with those, that will give you... Maybe that'll give you a higher comfort rating. Maybe the materials you build your house out of will be part of that, too. I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, let's go back down. But I love the overhang deal. I will probably have that on our schedule on uh, YouTube in the description. But also we can click and build little like one by one pieces. And I'm sure by uh, playing with other players too, like Uthris and, and Lumberjack and such, we'll all come up with different techniques to try to oof, to try to do the the basic construction. Which would be nice. Oh, that's overhang. Let's just try the regular blocks.
Okay. Well, I mean, you know, that's a thing. Okay, that's really cool for filling like little little gaps like that. Oh yeah, and then I can just do this too for the pillars in the corners. I don't really care too much about that though. I guess that just kind of looks cool. <laughs> hey, that looks neat. Okay. Hey, what's up Tobias? Welcome, dude. Hi, buddy. Good to see you in the stream. So now let's try to actually build a roof chat, okay? The proof's in the roof. I think the best thing we could do is just have it sit on the edge like that. It also seems the best to do the corners first. to the corner so that you're at the same elevation maybe I think the ceiling is way too tall now the whole roof thing that I did where I added additional uh, height to the roof Maybe I, or to the walls. I should have did that maybe at the end. I'm going to have to come up with techniques to do this more fluidly. Also, it would be nice to have different angles for roofs. Like, this is what, a 45 maybe? Okay, well that worked. That was cool. Alright, nice, nice. Okay, we're making progress. This is good. I don't know what the hell that is. Don't you dare do hashtag earthquake. This ain't no universum. too high there. We just need a shorter piece here, right? Oh. Well, yeah, that, that maybe will do the trick. 
And then... <laughs> nearly died. Is this good so far? Yes. From what I've seen, I would like to play more. There are some things that are different and things that are... Every game has, like, frustrating workarounds for certain things. Like, when we all started mining in Valheim, it was like, oh, we got to get all this copper and all this, like, tin. Oh, dude. But then you come up with ways to do it. You're like, wait, let's get the boat. You know. Like, at first, like, I don't want to gather all these materials. And then you're like, wait a minute. We have tools to make this easier and more fun. This game's combat has been fairly decent. The building's fun. And it's a little bit like Terraria that way, where it's like, you know, build a home for somebody and they'll unlock stuff for you. That kind of thing. Although this guy really doesn't even... I, you, I think you could get away with just building, like, a roof over his head. And then it's like, okay, cool. I'm sheltered now, thanks. Uh, we're gonna we're not gonna talk about that. We'll blame that on Uthras for not being here right now. Our foreman. So now, how the hell do I fi how do I fix this? You know. Do I do like a two meter? Or wait, do we do this? All right, there, it's a little, okay, there's a little jank. But in pieces like this, that I think that's to be expected. Hmm. So now, there could be ways around this though. Like my building right now is just kind of experimental. This is an experimental new build. It kind of filled the gap. Oh, it did it in a way that angers me. Okay, it looks like the game's trying to work with me, though. Like, it knows what I'm trying to do, and it's trying to give me... the benefit of the doubt. Oh my god, it actually kind of, it kind of did what I wanted, kind of. And then we should just be able to fill this in with like a two meter. <sighs> Damn it. You know, I mean... About power for the course, you know, you get most of the way there. Look, I, I at least want participation points for trying. <laughs> I've been given limited, uh, you know, like questionable materials, questionable budget. Well, I don't know. Maybe we could angle this up to try to get a two. Maybe we could do a two meter thing on there not up to code don't you tell on me chat don't you dare tell the HOA you know I think we're just good you know kind of just flushing it up and just saying we tried our best and then we'll find more methods to build in the future I'm pretty good at this stuff but I'm nowhere near Uthras and Lumberjacked here. I'm still but a student in their realm. 
Roof's gonna look like a, a step pyramid. You know the best part about this game though for the building is that at least we don't have to worry about the damn hammer durability. In Valheim it's like I'm I'm one mouse click away from completing a masterpiece and then it's like, oh dude, hammer durability zero. It's like then you gotta go all the way down. You gotta you know, get off the roof, you gotta go over the crafting or whatever bench. The walk of shame. Um, we could do a two meter. Pre-planned skylight. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, they're, they're, you're right. We could plan out a way to leave like a hole in the roof for like a, I mean, we can build a campfire and I'm assuming in the future we could build um, like a, f like m nicer things to cook in your house because like, you know, maybe there'll be like a cooking pot and a cauldron or something or some sort of way to, to build that way, yeah. The more I mess with this, the, wor the worse it's getting. Okay. Yeah, so because of this weird angle here, it creates this weird mess. I, I don't have the right tools. Maybe like a one meter square? I don't know. Anyway, anybody who can uh, come up with a plan to fix that in a detailed instructional video, I will give you one clout. Dear God, no. Light of sin shining through you. Wait, is this dude our, our, in our inventory? How'd you get in the inventory, bro? Here, you wait there. Somehow must have dismantled that guy or something. I don't know. Okay, we need to have the jank at least be within acceptable parameters of jank. Additionally, I could just I could just build a ceiling and hide that, but uh, yeah, just don't look at it exactly. Like we could do that, but I just want there to be an attempt, you know. More about what not to do for everybody who watches this video. Well, hell, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we just do an overhang here. Why the hell not? What if we just do... an actual, like, tier... Okay, all right. Wait a minute. This, okay. All right. Hold on. Okay.
And it's going to be a little bit like uh, Cinderella's Castle at Disney World, where it's like, you know, it's all about scaling and perspective. You know, if I could bring the roof up one more level. Yeah, it's gonna be my last attempt at proper proper roofage. Maybe that'll be for ventilation and for our sanity. How about that? back this up a little bit. Hey, what's up, Boothers? Yeah, I don't know. I, I'd like to see how you uh, come up with solutions for problems where you've built, like, a, a unique wall pattern that then has to have a, a roof to it. I'd like to, I'd like to learn. Gable roof. Yeah, we could do that too. Um, but I feel for a structure like this, the gable's going to be... Well, it's a, is it an odd or an even number? I think it's three wide. And I don't really see... P yeah. Gables present another fun challenge. Well, Alright, wait a minute. Th okay, hold on. Th dude, this is this is nice. Now maybe instead of that piece we just do these. Is this the four? Yeah, we'll just do this. As long as these can clip into each other and not show the... Oh, it's, it's not going to let me do it. It's going to look weird. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, I don't know what that is. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think I think we have it. This is fine. A roof decoration. And I could just uh, build a little plank thing there. I I think I think I think we have a decent roof. Honestly, I'm more concerned with it looking better from the outside than the inside because Nah, it's still ass, but whatever. Whatever. It's fine. When you see that roof and you're like, "Man, I don't know about that roof." You know how long that took? The Sistine Chapel took less time than that. All right, but first try. Right, I'm going to sleep. I want to see this thing in the daylight. It took us like five days <laughs> to build this thing. Good morning. I think. Is it morning? It looked like nighttime still. Let me get my torch. Ah, jank. Wait, wait, wait. That's just... That's deletable and won't affect the outside, I think. Yep. Alright, we're good. Now, what the hell? Let's build a door. Now we got a lovely area up here for crafting table, storage. I guess you always should build a little bigger than you have to. Area down here for a blacksmith. Okay, so how do we move this stuff? Clear storage to pick up. Okay. Okay, so let's make some storage. All right, so now that I did that the hard way for the longest time, I, I know my way around the system, so I think building a roof the next time will be slightly easier. But I'll also kind of change my design uh, based on knowing what I know about the roof system, but not too much. I don't think it's that bad. I just had to learn it. We need three string. I need more fiber. Hopefully there's war more ways to get more materials. I I'm very excited to see what the other construction materials may be. Like right now it's just rough stone and rough wood, but I think we'll probably uh, uh, make friends with a lumberjack who can then help make us higher quality wood, thus higher quality, you know, arrow bows and arrows. Maybe axes. Seems like a good time, dude. And in the trailer, all the cool buildings that they built as well, castles seem to be way more easy to build than a house, because that you can just throw a flat roof on and you're done. Yeah, even though the roof system is kind of um, more challenging, it, it does do a little bit of leeway. I like how it tries to fill the gaps between where if you're if you're a little bit off, it tries to just fill that gap. It kind of knows what you're trying to do. Appreciate that. Oh, the spear man. Hello, sir. Yeah, okay, block that. All right. That should have been perfect parry. Look, I know how to parry, damn it. I was playing Senua.
Mm, I haven't done too much on the side of exploring, no. I think my biggest appeal here is base building, which is built into the game to be something to buff your exploration, too, like in Valheim, where you go home, you sleep for a while, hang out at home, and all the buffs of having, like, I don't know, what is it, the, the fur rug and the other decorations and things make it better. My house design is too nice and the material is too crappy. And then I can I can just fill that with the, the wood floor. Like that's not a problem. I think we just change that to wood and we're good. I need to go up a little bit on that second one, I think. Mm, it looks like up a little more. jank but whatever the most important thing chat is we gained experience as in like our own knowledge all right let's build a bunch of crafting i mean uh, storage benches string for that no space down here for now. Maybe in the middle? Use snapping for this. You get so much fiber bushes, I ah, just kind of wander around and find them, I guess. That's cool. And then... We can build more of those. And make that faster. Very nice. Love the echoing in the building, though. Like, I really like that. I, I hope um, when we build a castle or something like that, it'll sound like that, too. Love the light going through the windows. Maybe I'll make, like, a little room, too. We could probably build some extra walls. Maybe, maybe we will throw on a roof. Like a ceiling. Because this looks cavernous. So maybe it would be nicer to just build a... Well, there's a little gap there. Whatever. We'll fill it in with the one-by-ones, but 
If we just build a, a, a ceiling here, then we can just build some nice rooms. I can make a bedroom and then a crafting area. Just make it look nice, you know? Mm, I'm in central time. And did the guy move in yet? Yeah, he's living here now, finally. Put a little lamp there, I guess. Oh, can I move this thing? Yeah, we can make a loft, exactly. Yeah, we got a lot of options. The, the the house on the outside looks pretty... It looks like a big house, but on the inside it says cavernous. And you can see a couple of the corners there in the roof that... Uh, we could fix that. I'm not going to put in all the time to do that now. I'm, I'm kind of done with that for the time being. But I can figure out ways to change some of the designs here and make it look nice. Plus, when we get different building materials, we can just change the upstairs anyway and redo the roof and make it look different. So how do we move this? Is there a way to do this? You've awakened your kin. The flame is pleased. Seek out more survivors slumbering in the springlands. Strengthen the flame. Extend its build range. Oh, you can extend the build range from 40 to 80. Alright. Still a lot of space, though. So at least there's that. At least you can expand the building radius of the base. The altar is deactivated. Afterglow of the flame lingers. Okay, so we gotta wait 30 seconds. I just wanna move this like inside, I think. Like, can I? I kinda wanna put it like in front of the house or something. <laughs> is this still game of the year? Love the wall system and I love the, the clipping between the walls. It, it, the, the wall building system is very nice and the roofs are challenging but gives you enough to it tries to assist and I like what it did at the top there it made the roof a little more interesting than just making it a point so I, I like what it did with the roof okay let's build a new whatever it is stone altar I like how the mining works too. I like you can dig ground and dirt with that, but also you can like mine stone like that. Little 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 Valheim here. I like it. I like it. We're definitely going to be playing more. And more importantly, I want to uh, build with friends and see what everybody comes up with for a house. Because I, I think this is a good, you know, Fisher Price, my first shelter. But this is not the best home I'm going to build. Like, now I want to, now I want to build from the beginning an even better house, you know? And I feel like that's what it should be in a building game. You should always feel that way. And we can always move that again and again. Oh, now I can pick up the workbench? And yeah, we'll put that downstairs. But honestly, now I want to look at medieval, you know, blacksmith designs and houses and stuff like that and build a uh, structure that's kind of like that. In fact, maybe I'll put this flame out front instead to give more space for storage and uh, blacksmithing and stuff. But I mean, this looks decent for now. But again, we have the option to change. You know, if we, if we don't like this, we tear down the flame and put it out here. Now, the question is, though, when I extinguished the flame and it was destroyed, it didn't leave anything behind. So a big concern is... Oh, yeah. Oh, oh for anybody wondering if you can reset skill points, there it is right there. You go to the flame and you can just pay 10 ruins and you can restart all your 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 
points, which doesn't seem to be too bad. I've already found like two or three runes just by wandering around and fighting. So you can reset your skills. That's cool. But to strengthen the flame here, we got resin, red mushroom, bone, shroud liquid, spark. Like these two, shroud liquid and spark, might be pretty rare. So that might be a problem if you want to move your base. Or if you want to build a second one, you've got to build that again with all those materials. But building a bigger base is cool. So I, I think it, it it's really... Rather than building one giant house, the, I built a pretty big house. This almost could be a damn tavern, really. It should be. This more should be like an inn or whatnot. But um, And we can even put windows in there. But the, I think this looks cruddy because the, the stone at the bottom, love it. The wood at the top, we need a whole different design. But I think we could redesign all this and make it look nice. Truly. So now they want me to go 380 meters over there for what? Forge a weapon. Wait, that's where the blacksmith used to be. He's here, though. So now our next quest is to get him to make us a... Shield or one-handed weapons. There you go. Spike club. So we can make that from nails. So we can get him to make that. Or, what, or what's the other thing? A scrappy sword. Let's just do that and get the By quest done. Now we've unlocked the small chest because we have nails now. So now what? No new quest? We've completed all the quests. We beat the game, guys. Cool. Alright, we did it. Now is the is this spiked thing better than the this does seventeen damage, the Crappy sword does 11. Okay, so uh, I bet you a sword's better than that, but it's got some piercing and blunt, so it does both of them. That's where the sword probably only does cutting. Neat. Yeah, this building looks decent. Like, for, for a my first attempt building, this doesn't look bad. I like it. I like it a lot. I think it looks good. Now, I want to play with friends, and so the next time we play in Shrouded, I think we're going to try to... I think the biggest appeal here would be to try to build near other people and build like a village or a settlement. But the problem with that is if we build our flame beacon things, if we expand that range, it might clip in with other people. So my real question is, if we play together as friends, can we all just use the same, you know, the, the same flame? Like you could do that in V Rising, right? Where you can, everybody can just stay at the same castle and work together as a team and everyone can have their stuff at one base. I feel like that's more appealing because if we had like four to six players, that's the perfect size for four to six players right there. I think that'd be a good bet. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm, that's what I'm going to say. Very nice. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be all the time we have today for our first look at Enshrouded. Uh, maybe perhaps tonight we can come back with another look at this game in multiplayer but i do want to bring you guys over to an early look at another survival crafting game known as serum we're going to take our first look at serum right now on the channel and i'll redirect you all over to that youtube premiere and then we'll be back with pal world a little bit after that we'll just move that back and yeah i think tonight we might actually play uh i don't know Frostpunk, but I'd, I'd rather come back to this and try it in multiplayer and see what you guys think if we do it with a group i think that's a different experience, and now that we're a little more experienced, we can play some more of the game. All right, guys, I'll see you all in a little bit. There's your link to the new video right now on the channel. Don't forget to click that one. Click or tap that link. Subscribe now and or follow for more of Enshrouded, and we'll be back in a little bit for more of it, I assure you. All right, I'll see you all in a little bit. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. We'll see you soon.